Hey, what's up there, Project Diva fans? DA Sonic fan here again with something extremely late. <laughs> so, from where we last left off, which was like, I don't know, a month or two ago, we were gonna play, ah, uh, well, I was gonna play, um, Gigantic Girl, which is a pretty nice song. But this is one of the songs I actually never gotten a chance to play before. I've heard it, but like, I've only seen it in, you know, uh, what's the game? Project Diva Dreamy Theater. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, holy crap, it has been a long time since I played him. Jesus. Can you believe it? I haven't touched any of the other songs. Only the ones I've played on while recording. And I've done something crazy. Um, I made everything arrows. It surprisingly helps, but is very jarring. Like when I first did it, um, what's it? I kept like I don't know. I would see blue as purple, and I would press the wrong things. Like I did it. Mostly, oh god, because, god, I'm trying to think, ah, I haven't played with high speed in so long, oh, I'm getting kind of used to, what's it, Project Diva X, which, that game is really fun, but, this helps with me being able to see, like, other things, I guess, Sometimes when I get the multiple hold notes, I don't see. Like, uh, you know, because it's just the outline and clear in the middle when you have the face button. So with the arrows, I can clearly see the color. Also, it's kind of like to help me play with my left hand. Because I am pretty reliant on my right. Like right now, I'm still like, you know, pressing up, oh god, triangle and um, square with the left, and X and circle with the right. Oh god damn it, I pressed X by accident. I pressed three buttons right there when it was only two. I'm giving more than what is asked for. But on that thought, can we like, um, can I like take a second to just talk about the amazingness that this is this PV? I just missed the freaking Godzilla fight. Like, lord. And then this girl's getting bigger. Oh my god. What a triumph from the turn to this. Seriously. Miku's getting to like, Gurren Lagan. The level kinda... Um, what's it? Okay, seriously. She's getting very close to Gurren, Lo Gurren Lagan level proportions here. Well... She's still just bigger than planets. At that size, she wouldn't even be bigger than the sun. God damn it. I promise I'll do better the next song, I just gotta get used to this again. Like, I, I still think about it. I really... I have this... I've had this game for almost three months now. And I have not played through all the songs. Maybe, like, a couple rare few whenever I had friends over. Just to show them, like, really nice songs. But... That's it. At least I made it to 70. <laughs> I'm always a failure. We'll do better, we'll do better. High speed is not something to laugh at. I mean, I haven't even tried to- I become the wind, and I become the rain, I become the rhythm, oh my god. I'm sorry, I love this song too much. And... I can't believe I also forgot to put the heart on it. I haven't even played it yet, actually. You, you can even see, I haven't like, 
I don't have any of the freaking things on it. It still says new. All I've done is like gotten ready for this so I could freaking have the costumes ready because um beforehand I try to put on some of some of the modules that I want, but I forget sometimes, I guess. Or I haven't gone through all of them. You'd think I would have. I would have been very thorough. But I I'm pretty sure there's some that I haven't even touched. But oh my god, this song. I wanted to do like the the way I do it in um Project Diva F in F second. Oh But seriously, Glory music is too good. <laughs> I've made the sound too loud. I just want to enjoy the song. But this this song. It's too good. Oh no! I wanted a perfect no. Let's go back. <laughs> this is the one time. Okay, maybe not the one time. I might do this again, but <laughs> for this song, I get. You guys don't understand. With the other songs, I just wanted to be first, but like, since I did this when I was playing Project Diva X, like I messed up. Ah! <laughs> Lord! I wanted to be first time experiences, but for this song. Like, I wish I did this with, um, I don't know, uh, whatchamacallit, Odds and Ends, and Clockwork Clown. But I get way too emotional with this song. Like, um, I try to make it my own story. Like, I made the girl that waits for the Miku right here. Uh, I made it into Len. So it's like that friend that's gone away. Well, I think it's still like that. But in future tone, if it's with two modules, like one character, but you know, there's two characters for it. They only let you use the same character, which I was pretty sad about. I am aiming for the perfect in this episode. It will be the first one for future. Oh my god, freaking. This is what happens when I start singing. I'm not gonna hold I'm sorry. Oh my god. This... Oh no! I was pressing the freaking L1! I'm sorry, this... Like, the lyrics for this song, and then just the beat, everything is so good about this. I remember I had a lot of trouble in this part. In F second. Can you hear the sound of my voice? Sky. Team Shonen. I wasn't gonna mess that up. It took me forever to realize that she was saying rhythm. English, right? Hold on, I'm getting emotional. Oh my god, there's way more effects. Like, those sound effects weren't there before and that caught me off guard. Ah, it wasn't a perfect. <laughs> but then Miku, and she's there. She was there, she gave her the courage. Keep going. She became the richest <laughs> I'm sorry. This song is so good. And then it took me forever to realize, like, um... What's it? The thing about this song, I always called it Glory Goosey for no freaking reason. Because I can't say the three and the nine, but then in Japanese, three, you know, is 
Hassan or like me because you know three and nine can also uh, be Miku I think that's when you write it in um kanji I, I I'm trying to remember because I know I'm doing I think I'm doing katakana there's like three parts to the Japanese language but then the three means me and the nine means ku so it will be the, the song literally translates into glory music music so I'm trying to no I restarted it by accident oh my god all oh, this song too oh my god the other day I was I found the the live version for this and then I forgot that this was at um the 2014 you know Miku Miku Expo in New York like I didn't I didn't pay attention to it at the time but I, I it, it was just it's just way too good it is just way way too good wait wait no we don't even have the costume for this one see I was just talking about this oh yo this looks adorable oh my god her eyebrows her forehead but th this song this song Oster Project, why are you so good? I, I was talking about this in the Project Diva X video. I like, oh my god, she, you can see her freaking... Her bone, her collarbone. You can see. Oh god. I'm not ready for this song. And then... One thing about this TV that I find strange is I feel like they could have done a story TV, but I don't know. Ah! Ah! I gotta get into the rhythm. I think this is the quietest I've ever been during a PV. But this isn't a song. I I don't yeah, I've never really got a chance to play this song before. Ah, <laughs> I'm doing so bad right now. I thought I would be better with all the practice. But I haven't been like playing with high speed. I'm so used to like the slowness now. Like freaking um, what's it? Two-sided lovers looks so much slower with high speed. Oh god! Lord. I would have actually loved to see the PV for this song because it's pretty funny. It's like Miku's a nurse and she's trying to take care of a patient, and then she's just like she realizes she doesn't know what she's doing and just gives up. And then she's, I think she just tells the guy to like, please get some rest and get better or something, something like that. I was pressing square! Oh my god, I'm doing so bad! <laughs> Lord! Hold my son. I, I, I have no excuse. <laughs> I mean, I love this song, but then I guess I'm like so used to how it sounds live like I love how it sounds live oh my god it is too good <laughs> and then there's like a bigger maybe it's because I don't have headphones on I usually play with the headphones on 
and there's like a bigger emphasis with um the bass. Oh, here's another one. Oh, look at this. This is the freaking first song from um the, the classic medley in a uh, Project Diva X. Yeah, this is a uh, vocal Vocaloid and Love. I believe. Yeah, yeah, Vocaloid and Love. Oh. Hopefully, I'll definitely do better with this. I mean, I've already practically played it. Oh wow! Oh my God! But this, this one live too. When they when they do the the drums together, count with her. La 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 la. Oh my God! One two three go. Like the crowd joins in and everything. It's too good. Oh, I should have reenacted the what you might call it. How I played in Project Diva X. I had the I think it was the 2015 film I think. God damn it. I mean, okay. One thing I can say about this song, though, as much as I love Oscar Project, I only like this song as much as I like it during, during the um, what's it, the concert version? Like, this is a song. It's a nice, catchy song, but you wouldn't find it in my favorites. But the one thing I'll always praise is the freaking beginning where she does the countdown. I just, I love that. I love that. That's like the, the best moment for the crowd to join in too. It's too good. I have nothing but praise. I kept pressing circle. Ah! Can we also... Blame the flashing floor. Well, at least it's not as bad as, um, what was it, MV Catwalk? Because I remember when I was playing that, it was like really late, and my room was really dark, and just every time there was a flash. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Every time there was a flash, my eyes would just like go to that specific point. If it was dark here, I'd probably be like focused everywhere on this stage too. Oh, but I only got an 80. I feel like they wouldn't have me looking through this part if it was extreme. That would definitely be a letdown. They should really have this part. Excitement and invigoration are offered to all men. What the f- What?! Th please tell me someone watching this saw, saw that in the corner. What? <laughs> I mean, it's a song about being in love, but... Okay, to... In my defense, I've never read the lyrics for this, so I don't know what this means. Eventually, I will. Taking Japanese has to hit me somewhere. <gasps> Watashi. Oh my god. I don't... Yeah, this definitely wouldn't have a costume to go with it. This would obviously be it. But I want to have the, the V3. Wait, I just realized freaking... Um, 2015 isn't here. What is this? Where is 2015? Yeah, I know we have... I remember seeing Snow Owl at one point. Was it in this one? I could have swore I saw Snow Owl in in Future Tone. Because I've mentioned it before, but the um oh wait no, I think that might be in a uh, colorful tone, because I still have only future sound. Yeah, because I have look at 2010, 2011, 2013, 2015. Oh. Oh. 
Maybe that was 2014? Punk for, oh yeah, 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 because I was thinking about racing Miku. That one was 2014, and then 2016 is my favorite Snow Miku. Snow Owl is like the best thing. But enough of that. We need to get into this. This is, oh my god, this is so nostalgic. This is the one song I wanted to get during the 2016 concert, but I didn't. Oh my god, because like when I was recording, someone hit my hand and then like the fleshy part of my hand touched the stop button and I was so mad. And I just like, and it happened multiple times too. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Oh, but the model doesn't look that updated. Like, it's a nice model. But it looks like this is like from. Oh, I messed up! No, 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 no. I, I said it wouldn't be the last time I'm getting this song. This song is like my childhood. <laughs> like, this is like the, the second Miku song I know. The, like, if the first one was, um, Levin Polka, this would be the second. And this was, like, just one of my favorites. You have to sing with her every time. I almost let that go. Bow. Oh my god. I'm like on the verge to, of messing up. This song is gonna be so fun on the stream. I already messed up. This is what happens when I sing. Oh my god! But, like, Back to what I've said with the lyrics. This, this song and its lyrics. I feel like, actually, I don't even remember the lyrics all that well. It's been so long since I've read it. Like, I remember, I used to do nothing but watch this video. But that was like, around the time when I was listening to a lot of Linkin Park too, I think, oh, I can't believe I did that. I was on X and I switched to Square. You know what kind of makes me sad too? Is that they. This is the PV. This is the way the PV looks. Like, it didn't strike me at first because I'm just so excited for playing this song. I should have done all four. God damn it. But. Because in the original PV, like, you know, when this was first made in, like, those young days of YouTube. She was, like, standing on this tower, and then there would be planes, and then the microphone was, like, a, a megaphone instead of a microphone. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to do bad on this song. At least the perfect. Oh. But. <sighs> so, that's pretty much it for now if you like this video leave a like and a comment maybe talk about how well you're doing in project diva and if you want more videos like this subscribe for more and with that peace out